one we've been expecting. 25. As for the third time today, Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick face off in the final at the Women's Series. There is one place 25. up for grabs at the Grand Slam of Darts, and whoever wins this match will grab 25. it. 25. Will be a race to five legs. Fallon Sherrick has won two events over the course of the weekend. She's looking to make it three. 25. If she does so, she will take that Grand Slam spot. Lisa Ashton is looking to make it three in one day and four in total. 25. Will it be a return to the Grand Slam for the four-time Women's World Champion? It was Outside. kind of inevitable, but we do have the fitting finale. A winner-takes-all shootout. It's Sherrick against Ashton. I'm thrilled once again to have Colin Lloyd alongside me. Yeah, thanks, Murph. It's all on the line now. All on the line. Is, it, isn't it fitting that it's come down to the very last match of the, of the final day of the weekend? Absolutely. And it's got a really 16. intriguing feel about it. Fallon Sherrick is playing in her fifth successive final of the weekend. The only player to have beaten her all weekend is Lisa Ashton. In the last 16 in the first event yesterday, 80. which Ashton went on to win. And then in the final of the first two events today. 60. Both players at times have produced some stunning stuff. Both had 5-2 victories in the semi-finals. Ashton over Laura Turner. Sherrick. 140. With a five-leg burst to see off Makuru Suzuki. She also had to beat Dieter Hedman. 140 in the last 16. What Ashton did for Anastasia Dobromislova for one in the quarterfinals. They've had to beat the other 100. big names. They've kept doing so and they've kept bumping into each other. Sherrick making a good start to this final. Can she finally beat Lisa 81. Ashton at a women's series event? Well, she's got the throw here, and she now wants tops for a 14-dart leg, which she pins at the first time of asking. That will settle her down, won't it? We did 61. see in that previous final, which she lost 5-2 to Ashton. Some frustration in Fallon Sherrick, missing opportunities at key times. She's been in that booth practicing almost immediately after... Lisa Ashton's semi-final ended, Fallon Sherrick. She's determined to keep her focus and get the job done here. And not only has she gone out with a fantastic leg in the opener, but she's hit a 180 against the darts in leg two. And that's four perfect darts. Couldn't follow with a fifth, but this 100. is an assault on the Ashton throw. Yeah, it certainly is. Makes her 121 points before this throw behind. 85. So Fallon now has taken the throw. And like you said, Chris, all out attack against Lisa's throw in this leg. 100. 180 and two tons to back it up. Ashton can still leave herself something handy if she can find a treble or two. But that spells trouble. 43. Yeah, one, two, one here for Fallon. Doesn't have to use the bull route. Might go for it. Did go for it. What a shot. Didn't have to do that. Had six darts for the one, two, one. 20, treble 17, bull. Two nil, Fallon Sherrick. Message sent out. 58. From Sherrick. Determined to win this match. As we said, she only has one really notable win against Lisa Ashton 31. in what is now 20 notable meetings between the pair. Because we can't guarantee that that record is entirely accurate. They may have met at opens that aren't recorded anywhere, 58. but Fallon Sherrick, what is certain is she doesn't have a very good record against Lisa Ashton. And it's been born again over the course of this weekend. 180. I said that Sherrick sent a message out with that 1-2-1. One, one. It looks like that message has been received by Lisa Ashton, who fires in a maximum. 
93. I was just about to say there, Fallon hasn't found a, a worthy treble 20 yet. But she 100. picked off a treble 18 there, last dart. One hundred and forty. Fallon down to a finish first, but this is on her own throw, so any treble will one hundred and forty put Lisa in the box seat. She's down to fifty after a dozen. Sherrick can't now go out. So Ashton can not only cut the lead in half, but can break back here. Ninety two. Yeah, that was a good switch there. I thought she was gonna just switch straight to the 18s, 1 to 8 to leave 24. But Lisa's missed the big 10, so 44 left. Double 16 now for a break back. 18. Well, it could prove to be a very costly miss for Lisa Ashton. Sherrick gets a chance. She might not have expected. Game shot. And she takes a chance. And Fallon Sherrick in this final is up, up and away against Lisa Ashton. She leads 3-0 and is averaging 105. 60. 20 points more than her opponent. Yeah, Lisa will be kicking herself there. Left herself 50. 60. After a terrible first three darts. The next nine darts was superb scoring, but then missed the big 10, so was only going to get one dart at the double. Missed it. And 54. In step, Fallon said, thank you very much. Just to remind you how close it's been between this pair coming into this final. Lisa Ashton leads the order of merit by 50 pounds ahead of Fallon Sherrick. 57. There's a 400 pound difference in prize money for winning it. So whoever does win it will finish top after the first six events and will receive that first available Grand Slam 96. spot. 96. But they've won every event between them. Fallon has only lost to Lisa. 140. Dieter Hedman and Joe Locke deserve a nod as well for being the players to have beaten Lisa Ashton this weekend. 100. And of course, whoever doesn't get that Grand Slam spot will get the chance to book their place when the Women's Series goes to Barnsley next month. 180. This is incredible from Fallon Sherrick, isn't it? Another maximum to leave 64 against the darts after 12. Yeah, 43. stunning stuff. It's as if now that Elisa Ashton Tank is now a little bit empty, but that's not take away from Fallon Sherrick here. She's, like you say, averaging 105. 48. And she's actually being quite clinical. This is a nice shot for Lisa Ashton. Two treble 20s and a double 14. Kick yourself back into gear. Just the wrong side of the wire with the first start. 73. Made the necessary adjustment. Now we'll look at treble 19. 94. Sherrick just taking a sip of water, taking a moment, taking aim, Game and shot. landing the double and opening up a four leg lead. We're well, playing like this with Lisa not achieving the standard that she's produced in the previous finals. Fallon Sherrick, I think it's 59. safe to say, will not have a better chance of beating Lisa Ashton at the Women's Series. Yeah, unless something dramatic actually happens, but if I, I can't see Lisa getting back into this match. 85. Not now. I'm not going to take anything away from Lisa Ashton. She's had a fantastic day today. But in this final, she just seems to have walked into a rampant Fallon Sherrick. Well, let's not forget 60. that Fallon Sherrick had the overnight lead, having won two of the first three events. Ashton did fantastically to get her nose in front by winning the first two of today. But this is unreal. Absolutely unreal from Fallon Sherrick. 95. One on one four six now. Knowing full well she's got six darts to clear this up. Sixty. One 
100. So for the match, for an incredible win. Seventy-eight. Not quite there yet. Is there one little twist here? Ninety-nine. Oh, she's found the wrong bed. No and there may be a twist, Lloydie. Well, what she'd give to see a treble 10 go in first away, but tops then. 22. Well, is that Lisa's last throw in this third and final event of the weekend? Game shot and the match. It Fallon is. Sherrick. And it is sweet success for five star Fallon Sherrick. <laughs> as Fallon finally defeats Lisa Ashton with a 5 0 win to win her third title of the series.